Hello and welcome to On The Set, a show brought to you by Sly Media TV, and I am your host, Wadzanai Zimwasha. We are here to give you a showcasing of the parts that the celebrities have taken, where they're going, and indeed, what aspirations do they have to give to young people. Today, we're joined by Nyasha Timbe singer, songwriter, producer, amongst many other things. And I hope we get a chance to hear more about what he is doing after the short break. With uh, 2023 beckoning and the election frenzy in the country becoming more stronger each day, politicians are increasingly becoming visible, making more and more promises. Primary education. From grade one to grade seven must be provided completely free. Every village in three years, there will be a ball in your run on the solar. Patuna ngopi indasu nujo kutanga kukuzore rai pa makazi wana wa mugabe. Kwa kuzore ra matija kwa wai wa kwa kutitija zikanwa semu na itenga zikoti zi headmaster. Nenya ayo kutanga ane uzamu ne jitini. But are these promises going to be fulfilled? The electorate is pondering on who to vote for in the council, parliamentary, and even presidential election. We bring you the candidate where we interrogate their plans, their manifestos, their programs to make sure that we give you information to make a choice on who to vote for. The candidate on Sly Media TV every Wednesday from 6 p.m. Welcome back. We are here on the set, joined by Nyasha Timbe, as I would like to refer to him, given his song genre is Mr. Loverboy. Eh, Murukuchanga Moriziwe Moyo. Cannot do you already have one? Um, I already have one, and I think I found my one. Ah, that's amazing. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we'll definitely get into that later, but I Absolutely. think as a start, maybe tell us more about your journey into the music industry. Okay. Um, I think my journey started a long time ago. I think when I was in grade three, that's when I discovered I had the musical thing in me. Mm -hmm. I started playing instruments, drums and guitars, but back then I didn't know what it meant or whether I was destined to be a producer or a singer, you know, in the future. Yeah, yeah. But uh, when I go to high school, that's when I started discovering like different type of genres and mm -hmm. friends, actually. Yeah. Uh, you know what, you're not going to do that. So then from then, it's been like blessings and blessings yeah. and blessings, you know, until we are. Oh, that's amazing. That's great yeah. to hear. Thanks. And would you say you would have taken a different path? Maybe there was a my drums in grade three. Maybe, you know, because I, I used to do a lot of things. I used to play sport, mm -hmm. you know, as a good goalkeeper, you know, yeah. like from my primary <laughs> to my high school as well. Like some of my friends or some of the people who know me, you know what I mean? Like I could draw as well. It was like a lot of things I was into, like make things and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't have known maybe if I didn't do music, it's obvious I was going to go with something else. With something you know else, I mean? but yeah. more on the... Active yeah, yeah. side. Exactly. You know, but how I'm have you found it um, <laughs> being in the industry? How, how does it feel? It feels good because it's something I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. It's something that I love. So it's easy, you know, like to actually, listen, let me say I'm grateful actually because mm -hmm. God gave me something and, um, you know, I can survive and at, at the same time have fun doing it. You feel yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying my moments. Oh, and <laughs> my moments. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. And which artists have you worked with during this journey? All right. Um, I've worked with a number of artists. I think the first prominent artist I worked with was uh, Sunny Magalima. Mm. It was in 2010. Because I was, I was born and raised in Marondera, mm -hmm. you know. So I was coming from Marondera to Harare to record under this wow. organization I was involved in back then. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they had us go to a San Magalima studio and produce a song. So that was the first time I was like, yo, this is real business now. You know, yeah. it's getting serious. Then I did a song that featured um, Shinzo. Actually, it was like San Magalima was like, ah, yo, I should throw Shinzo on this song. Mm -hmm. You know, that in my knowledge, I didn't even know Shinzo back then. Yeah. And, you know, that song was the first song that I played on radio, one of the songs I did. So from then, I worked with Leonard Mapfumo. Yeah. And because uh, I was now discovering I could produce. Because okay. some of the people were like, who produced your songs? And I'm like, oh, I did. 
So yeah. someone would like, ah, yo, can you do something for me? Did Gaziriro or something you did? So Lenin Mapfuma was one of the people who believed in me. So like, ah, yo, let me work with this young guy. Mm -hmm. So from then, to the time of Shanda Nana XQ, I worked with XQ as well. I worked with Rocky. I worked with uh, Say Colors. You know, big pine boys as well as I did. So we get it. You know, this <laughs> yeah. I was one of the producers who produced one of the songs. <laughs> but I was just, you know, I was just scared mm -hmm. to, you know, like to go out there and say I did it. So I was like, ah, bra. You know, like doing this type of songs, I don't want to be associated <laughs> with this. Uh. But then from Say Colors, I work with Daza D. Uh, you know, pretty much everyone. The list is endless. You know, the list is endless, yeah. And you were never intimidated? Not even. Not this, even. That Not just even. shows you were born for this. Not because even. usually yeah. working with big names, it uh -huh. comes with a lot of intimidation. And you're just there like, can I say this? Can exactly. I say this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it yeah, just... Yeah. Free flowed. Yeah, it free flowed. Because, you know, some of the guys are really cool. You uh -huh. know, when, when, they, when they come to me, even one older than me, one not want to find out about what should we do. You know, so I don't want to any respect. I don't want part time. Let's hear what you got to say. So no more confidence, you know. Indeed. So, you know, even Banagasha and Babarari and stuff like that. But, you know, when we are working, we are, we are saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because what we want to bring out is what's best to that one one's way, something that's great. So we need to be comfortable around everybody. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And who would you say you looked up to joining in the industry, even up to now? Absolutely. Who do you look up to? <laughs> I had a lot of people. Actually, I have a lot of people mm -hmm. I believe, like, oh, no, go now. But you sound like Nengi. Mm -hmm. Then I had to go and do some research. I would say because I had this comparison. I sounded like Fortune and Parusa. Okay. Before I even knew Fortune and Parusa <laughs> saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. I went back. My husband's about Fortune and Parusa. I was like, what? People are comparing me to this great somebody. You, you know? know? I mean? Yeah. So he's one of the guys I even like now I can go back and listen to to his songs. Mm -hmm. My songs are about 15 years or 20 years ago, but they still sound fire like right now. And do I want to look up to then production wise there's uh, an Amad D, you know, yeah. and a Trevor D. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of guys, even the Takuras, like the modern guys right yeah. now are actually listen and learn a little because from them. Usually as well. with the camera if the camera was just a bit shifted, you know, with the goatee yeah, and, yeah. you know, people uh, would be like yes, the Takura <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, but that's amazing. Yes, I yes. I, th I would be intimidated being in a room full of people like that. Yes. Um, but tell me, what what inspires the content? Um, yeah, and in, 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 I believe in love. You know, yes, I believe in love. Yes, you know, I'm, 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 I'm one of the few men out there who <laughs> believe in love. You know. Sorry, my brothers out there, but <laughs> I'm one of the true ones. You mm -hmm. feel me? Mm -hmm. So in Kanandri, in Sichas, yeah, I, I the the only way I'm going to express is mm -hmm. like pen and paper in yeah. the studio. Oh yeah. You know, because I hardly just go up a mic and talk record, and this nice story behind, mm -hmm. like something that's really pushing me to do some. So I think inspiration in doing it out in the my songs. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. told you before, love a boy. <laughs> <laughs> so now let me jump into it. Very How good. did you meet Mrs. White? Um, it, it was a crazy story. I mm. think you know, I was staying at at food that time. Then that this teacher was conducting my extra lessons by the house we stayed mm -hmm. then this girl used to come I'm like ah you know that girl that girl is fine but feeling maybe the teacher has got something to do with this girl mm -hmm. because i don't remember you where you know <laughs> that was like ah you know i was new then that side it was like ah yo bro can you hook me up with some someone i can just hang out with here then he said i can hook you up with this student and remember you where you know then i was like i ah, know I don't want that one because I'm gonna believe you see maybe the teacher you know why does there you know what I mean. <laughs> so then the teacher tricked me kind of, in a way about a different number the same lady with a different name. Mm -hmm. Then I started calling this girl and she told her nah, she, 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 for for a couple of weeks. Then we're supposed to meet. My daughter and me first one, but when you got there, I'm seeing this girl and I'm born now. And my daughter's first one, yeah, I know, I know that girl. She's not the one I want. Like I, I don't like that one. Easy. <laughs> they wanted to. Then actually turned around and went home. Uh, but the lady noticed me now. Like, that guy, what happened with that guy? You know. And the then she started like, yo, what happened, Gigi? And, uh, it's a long story, but you know, we we're, so, we're not <laughs> supposed to be like, you know, talking. But now because I'm a connection. Yeah. 
she 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 tried to know but she's on the tower you know then one thing led to another until we got married and the kids oh my god you know so it was meant to be in a way in a way yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. usually stories like that Ah, mm. that is a baby. I know that because I was like, I ah, know that's not the one, you know what I mean? Yeah, but mm. what's your take on issues on relationships? Is it you know how it is? Social yeah, media, no. you're seeing all of this, and you're a young guy who settled down and you mm. believe in love. What's your take on what is happening, social media-wise? I think people. Like nowadays, yeah, like a lot of people love to look at social media when it came through. Mm -hmm. So, because back then, when we seen as it says, was also like nowadays, when we go on Twitter, and I go into the Facebook, I go into the live, mm -hmm. talks about stuff. So as, it's now out of control. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So as I go into the internet, I post, post, I go to talk, I put it, I say, ah, bye bye, she she. So I just think people on Twitter, when you saw the Zikama, you know, in the relationships these mm -hmm. days, like. You, they need to know what he, if it's about the two people. Yes, okay. You know, if I'm going to before, yeah. like, what's going on social media? It's just we are there to share what you need to say. You know, like, <laughs> no one actually be like, ah, do bad kind of energy. They're just looking for a story to watch those days and share and, yeah. and, and make them trend. Mm -hmm. So, Amazon, uh, it's really bad. I feel bad for those ones who are still looking for love out there. We are looking, man. Ah, you're, you're, you're looking. Ah, come ah, on. There is only like this. Walk to the Tisha is Because, oh! As much as I'm going to chase to do it, it's, it's, it's inter, you know, like divine intervention and stuff. <laughs> We need mm. a lot of deliverance. You, you see. But like he said, we all need to just calm down and exactly. stop doing this whole entertainment thing and just be in our relationships with just, just the two of us. With exactly. that, we'll yeah. take a break. Mm. With uh, 2023 beckoning and the election frenzy in the country becoming more stronger each day, politicians are increasingly becoming visible, making more and more promises primary education from grade one to grade seven must be provided completely free every village in three years there will be a ball in your run on the solar but no go up in that to the job of tanga who could go right on a cause you and i'm god but i could go around my teacher for a while i'm going to teach you the camera seven i think of the court is yet master many are you put on down it was down with a kidney but are these promises going to be fulfilled? The electorate is pondering on who to vote for in the council, parliamentary, and even presidential election. We bring you the candidate where we interrogate their plans, their manifestos, their programs to make sure that we give you information to make a choice on who to vote for. The candidate on Sly Media TV every Wednesday from 6 p.m. Welcome back. We are here on the set, a show brought to you by Sly Media TV. And I'm hoping that you guys are sharing, liking, reposting, and make sure you press that subscribe button to make sure a notification just pings on your phone when we go live. We are joined by Mr. Loverboy. Mr. Loverboy, the believer of love, as he stated earlier for the benefit of those that are just joining us. But now we're about to go into the community just telling us what what have you done in the community like you see everything that is happening mm -hmm. talk about drug and substance abuse all of these things as an artist what have you done in the community yeah i, I can't say i haven't done much mm -hmm. but uh, there's something i'm doing right now mm -hmm. like uh, back in my home in marondela you know like i i, I started the talent search okay because when i because I, I, you know, I just taking myself back, literally in Pana, what I went through, and I don't want those youngsters to go through all those struggles again. Can I deep in? You know what I mean? I'm the plug. So I'm going to schools, Sandine, a bunch of kids, I don't watch you anymore. You know, like my clubs are equal, I don't watch you, I send as you saw, like their content. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you are going to see it, my gem. I yeah. think in a few, in a few months to come, because the program is like, Tones are mono. Then can I pen a superstar? Wanna ripple? To a sanganisa? Then we create something great. Kutwa pana wasanya nyora mbwa chungote ndiye chenda mwe area. Was very hopeless, you know what I mean? Yeah. So to doubt he wasungutoro to ampana yaga zungutiro something like that. You know, I think 
That's yeah. one of the things I try to do. Maybe in the future, just we talk as cool, cargo, you know, you know, an academy type of thing and a production, big production house. You don't know what we're talking about. We are not talent. We are not talking about superstar. That's amazing. You know, that's the vision. Yeah. yeah. Talk about giving back to community. Exactly. And um, is there a young person that you've worked with who is probably not recognized mm -hmm. as in a, like a name that they have? Are they young people that you've worked with like that? Yes, 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 yes. Like recently, um, this other time I was just browsing on Instagram. Then I came across this lady. She was like, she's a rapper. Mm -hmm. She was rapping, rapping. Then I was like, ah, oh, yo, you know, like whatever you're doing. Uh, where are you from? Then she was like, I'm from Gwanda. You okay. know, and I've never been to Gwanda, by the way. <laughs> like, okay, cool. What can we do to get you into the studio so that we can try to create something? Then, uh, but about uh, that, H Town is far. I've never been there. Mm. So, Takasu try Ronga Ronga Then she finally came to the studio. So right now, the total process is okay. It's an EP, like, then kind of start to read my visuals and all that. More, 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 more. Talking about those, and I have a slight media. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So there's a lot. There's no one who need to reach out to me. Oh, yo, can you help us? Can you help us? Can you help us? Can I have more? We look up to you. Yeah. Inspire us. You know, stuff like that. So in the time, you know, I'm not one of the people who on a time every respond uh, mm -hmm. and talk to people, different issues and. You know, advice sometimes if I can. Yeah. So and you know, how one not or now no link now the young ones. And how can these young and upcoming artists get a hold of you? It's easy. My my number is on my Facebook, mm -hmm. like my personal number. Yeah. So I left it there for a reason. Yeah. Because I don't talk to my inbox. I don't want to phone and then to talk about stuff. That's great. Yeah. And yeah. I think um, apart from just that, what do you think is hindering young and upcoming artists? within the community? What do you think is something that they should like fix or work on just probably so that they, you know, propel their career in the music industry? Yeah, I think patience. They, they've lost patience. Mm -hmm. Because the, when I was in a patience, my son, I am not know if I don't try with something. One of the first four Peters when I was in a cheetah because like, they want to be popular, they want to pop, they want to be talked about tomorrow, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of which sometimes, Kuti was it took him 15 to 20 years, yeah, you feel sure. me? So I found out about the shortcut. What are the shortcut? Which is in the lane that is from Angerirako. You know, that's the first problem, really. Mm -hmm. So now you, you tend to know to know. I, I, I'm going to have one song. I was a child that propeller and very because I'm not seeing the normal self panga mm -hmm. So I would advise for Pana Jinji with the originality and patience. Patience pays. You know, when it's your time, God will tell you, like, yo, it's your time it's to your shine. Time Hmm. Yeah. So I got from body like so, you know. And that's true. It's like, it's like the example you just gave. Mm. I remember, I'm not sure if other people still remember, but <laughs> I don't even think people remember Jeffrey's Achimba, those songs. Exactly. You know, and there's, uh, yeah, there's need for, for patience and mm -hmm. just, and what do you think is um, causing this whole havoc? Yeah, drugs and substance and because most people tend to relate that to the music industry yeah, and yeah, believe yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my drugs, man, which ones related my drugs, like, I think because of international content or what, what, what's your take? Mm, I would say economically, mm -hmm. this, this thing is economical mm -hmm. because in uh, again, for example, like my kids, I try to provide for my kids so that I was not in the city but because by chance I time it's going to be a problem. The problem is we cheap, cheap drugs. It's also not Like most of them is lack of employment. They're just in the hood. My grounds are, you know, those recreational areas. Yeah. They are being farmed. You know, some yeah. uh, they are being sold out of a stand and stuff like that. So there's no way we are supposed to be. Tato mukara pa bridge. You know, because I don't have to graft quadges in Gua, I was going to go and stuff like that. Then you go back home. Over once ago, I say, like, I'm maybe with talent, kind of me, skill, I win. I even mentorship, me time, JJ, and one, what Terry. So at the end of the day, I'm going to go to the streets because you know, I, I, I came from the hood, so I know. Yeah. You know, I'm one of those ones, I would see, I'm not trying to say, you guys, you, you say you don't smoke, you don't, how come? Because mm -hmm. I grew up amongst people, it has, yes, everything. 
you know what I mean? But say I could see you see, so we need to have a problem, we need to be bored, but you need to have a quit. Oh, by influence, when the mumu has to rule, you know, to quit. Oh, but I don't you feel me? So it's one of those things you don't can and is, you know, could I come as you come with it out there? Talk now about the road, don't do that. Yeah. Yes, and you can sing about it. Yeah. But then the habits of terror, so me actually, I don't want to get out, but you know, so I've had a plan, you actually, you know, to see. After all that has been said, what are we supposed to do? Now, now, twice a puppy, twice a puppy, you eat it. Then, to zone out, you eat it. You know, let's give them what, something to do. To zone out, you eat it. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. That's really true. Yeah. And you spoke about your family. Yes, yes. Can you tell us more about your family, be it your current family yes. and those around you, <laughs> extended and all? Oh, uh, my family is, yeah, I have, a, I, have a, I have a nice family. You uh -huh. know, you know, I've got two kids, a boy and a girl. And uh, actually, for the know they were like, Dad, are we, why are we not going with you today? Because <laughs> yesterday I was at an interview and I, I took them there as well. Yeah. But um, then, purpose of surrounding me, I have a lot of brothers, mm -hmm. you know. You need, like, uh, my blood and you know, one blood brother. Then one way, yes, uh, my blood brothers, I'm a mom. Yeah. You know, uh, like, <laughs> <she> <laughs> yeah. you know, I remember when I moved to Harare, the first time, I was actually staying with one of my brothers. Mm -hmm. I got to a grade over and come with my mom. So like, ah, mom, this guy has got talent. But I'm thinking we move to Harare and start something. Then we saw what he's doing and what I say. Mm -hmm. Then my mom was like, ah, it's okay. Then you know, I was talking about Gara, he was taking care of me. He actually bought me a first microphone. Oh, wow. Okay. I still have it right now. Then we ended up in the studio, you know. But I got on the, the, you see the brothers I'm talking about. Yeah, I see they, that. Know, yeah, I they want to see me great and shine and yeah. all that. So I have a lot of brothers like that in my circle. And it wasn't difficult. Because I'm listening to how you're saying, Kuti, you, aga we aga kumbira. Yeah. you know how parents are quite protective, especially when things don't include education. Exactly. Kuti, exactly. So it was never a problem. It was never a problem, you know, because I'd worked with them on a few projects before, mm -hmm. but I was just going back home. But now it was like, ah, you know, let's take this to another level. Mm -hmm. You know, over and introduce my producers, mom, stuff like that. All you wanted was to see me great. So I don't know how to you know, like my brothers, I know, I don't change it. Mm -hmm. So God, they, they really care. You see, so yeah, I have a good family around me. And how do they react having you around? Because usually having a celebrity, I know he's in the guy, he's in the guy, he's in the guy, he's in the guy. Is it any different? No, uh, it's not, it's not different. Because when I want to write to him, you know, <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't know the same fun. You know, I don't know the artist can do that. Because I'm still growing, you know what I mean? So I don't know the same fun. I don't know if it's easy to communicate and stuff like that. Yeah, that's good. You know, it's one of those And they're yes. also part of the journey. Exactly. So for them, it's like, yeah, we're in this together. You feel me? Oh, that's amazing. So that's really and good. with that, that amazing story, we're going to take a break. With uh, 2023 beckoning and the election frenzy in the country becoming more stronger each day, politicians are increasingly becoming visible, making more and more promises. Primary education. From grade one to grade seven must be provided completely free. Every village in three years, there will be a ball in your run on the solar. But no go pinda to no joku tanga, who could zora raiba makazi wana wam gabi. But I could zora rama tija kwa raiba kokuti tija zikama, semuna itenga zikoti the headmaster. Nenya yoku tanga ne uza mune chitini. But are these promises going to be fulfilled? The electorate is pondering on who to vote for in the council, parliamentary, and even presidential election. We bring you the candidate where we interrogate their plans, their manifestos, their programs to make sure that we give you information to make a choice on who to vote for. The candidate on Sly Media TV every Wednesday from 6 p.m. Welcome back to the show. Um, what's an eye? We are on the set, and I hope you are reposting because this is inspirational stuff 
talking about family, communities, and everything to do with the music industry. And I think most of the stuff that um, you were sharing can also be impacted. I think I always like to relate um, information that we're shared with, with mm -hmm. things that you can um, put into your life. So with that, what are the values that you would say you move around with? What are your own values? Um, church, you know. Church. Yeah, belief. I believe, you know, like God has always been there, mm -hmm. you know, from the beginning and before it all started, like this whole journey, God has already been there. So I always go back and remind myself like you're the you're the son of God. So there's certain things you're supposed to do a certain way, you know what I mean? So I think that's that does make things easier for me, you know, moving mm -hmm. around people. Because even if I go and Anita's one I'm just there and I'm like, yo, remind yourself that Mm -hmm. and this is important and stuff like that. But um, basically, it's like God and love, you know what I mean? Because we don't do everything. We're back at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. We don't do everything. If yeah. you've got love for everyone, I will have problems. If you get got to love or what to say, even things don't go your way, at the end of the day, just smile because you love people, you know. You, you love them for who they are, so it doesn't hurt. And has that ever hindered you? let's say when you're working with someone within the industry, mm -hmm. how your moral campus and what you're supposed to do, what you have to do or something, like it's has yeah. that ever conflicted? Yeah, 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 it is a couple of times, you know, like I, I'm, I go to church on Saturdays and Saturday is the busy day, like the gigging day. Very busy. All the time. So yeah. I've got booked a couple of times and sometimes they don't believe in that, you know? <laughs> so until I realized Kutishi, you know, if it's meant to be mine, even if I don't go on a Saturday, mm. you know, can I not go to a paycheck, you shall wear on a different day. Mm -hmm. So recently, it's only recent I've discovered, like, I've been bold enough to say, like, yo, I don't work this, I don't work this day, or I'm not doing this, you know, I, I'm not comfortable singing this. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've heard a lot of collabs thrown upon me. You could see, imbani zagati, kano imbani zichichi. But then you know what is? This is not me. Mm -hmm. It's for the money. Yes, they're supposed to pay me. But well, what if I do it? One and one, I get this. Like I think, yeah, it's been a problem. But uh, I think I'm handling it well. With it. You're working well. With yeah, it. I'm working well with it. And have you ever had a bad performance where you go out to a um, <laughs> crowd and the crowd is just looking at you like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this one we did. Oh my goodness. Like one of my fellow artists came to me and was like, ah, yo, bruh, I've been hired to perform at this uh, fancy birthday party. You know, like it's party cool uptown. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. What did I say? Then he was like, I told you to perform my JC. So I told Padaro in advance. These guys came through about to Padaro JC. I told you in there. That's why it was one of the horrible, you know, like <laughs> days I remember. And I don't want to remember. I actually don't want to remember that day. Because, you know, that's why Papa it's a family thing. Like, yeah. what rich, pe rich people. So all they want is, like, the family time. Yeah. It's just a peer that we got to find out to perform. So I took it, but I was able to perform. You know, I was able to read, you know what I mean? But I was able to because one of uh, when I got high man, mm -hmm. like one of the young girls, then got high. But like, ah, I want you to perform for my parents, chi 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 chi. Then we went there and the parents who actually want to hang out in Nemanguma, Nemanguma relatives out they don't want us to perform there. So I just to myself to ah, I don't bring her out, man. Oh, ah, I don't care. You know, I was with the one that we get to eat three or four. I want to have a dinner table. You know those dinner tables. Yeah, I get you, I you actually get don't have a chair there. You see, mm -hmm. you know, some lugara someone. <laughs> to try by all means, but these guys don't want us there, you see. But those <laughs> other guys, when I panna pa, I just hold you up and I go get to go buy. I that was one of my days. I don't know, but I don't remember. But anyway, so I got to go eat. I learned. Have you ever, have you been able to like handle it now? We, you see, you could. Mm, this was about to turn sour. Maybe let me do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it happens. Usually we can play around with the playlist. Yeah. You know, like maybe we we line up ni like ni na mesofu guy. Yeah. No, ni squad line up ni dance or guy. You know, like different type of moods, right? Then the dance or guy starts. Yeah. And you're supposed to go after that guy. You see, like the crowds <laughs> and everything. It's one of the difficult things, I think. Like every artist can relate. Like you shouldn't go 
after somebody <laughs> who is like and you're hype and one day you don't need a laid back, you know what I mean? Yeah. So so we were performing in Denview, then the DJ starts playing music and you talk to an and stuff like that before us. <laughs> like, yo, dude, why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Just chill. At least find some, some type of music you're playing, right? Yeah. But I'm not playing that music. I don't know. When do I know when? Then you should start going to the paper here. I'm talking about the crowd didn't take it nice. <laughs> Especially the guys are going to turn down. They were like, ah, yo, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, going up, going up, going up. But then they started, you know, trying to try to with the beast. So we had to, they got to turn out to guy, and you know what? Let's communicate with the ladies. You know yeah. what I mean? Since mm -hmm. the ladies, Dr. Ati Paitke, you know, this, this oh, behavior, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's communicate with the ladies. Then we started picking the ladies now. You know, the ladies started screaming, you know, singing our songs and stuff like that. Doctors would chill like about it. Otherwise, it was one of going to be the <laughs> bad performances. Yeah. You see. So it, it happens with the line up, church, it matters. Yeah. For yeah. performance, you had this one. Some of them said that this one is upper. And you know what I mean? Yeah. The crowd, the yeah. songs of food. Because when I turn out to go to the park, I change a playlist. Yeah. Can I go to the to my soft as the to change? Change it. You know, yeah. So it's yeah. one of the things we face. I've, uh, I've yeah. spoken to some young mm. artists who are trying to get into the industry. And probably, like, what's your advice when it comes to inviting <coughs> the young artists to perform with big names? Like, how is someone supposed to handle that pressure? Because it's not everyone who just kind of gels well yes, with the yes. big names. W what would you advise them to do? I think, can I to say what I'm going to say? You know, they know to get a playlist, you and you don't have to, to, to perform too long. That's the one of the, the things you should do. Can I to perform? perform two songs like, my songs are hyper, you know, like, and I'm just out and I'm the best in you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Just just keep it short over, and in the front of the OT, I'm not going to pay for my name, and the audience, I get to say, so that I'm not going to be in on, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I remember back then I used to go on a van, I get to send a tree for D, even up to now. Don't end up in the now, but turn. Because you get any music, I got away in the run, you know, and it's no feeling a mood, you know, you know what I mean. So, in front of the ultimate, I'm gonna pay for my eye, I get to say, and work on your playlist and make sure your act is 100%. Yeah, I'm told by Papa and you run, yeah, you know, walk to and so you know, that's how I got to be booked in in Kajinji being hooked up, then after yeah. that, and that one will get ground from there, yeah, that, yeah. that's good. And are there any challenges that you faced getting into the industry where um, you're just there like, eh, my hand was all good. But it's going to be like this. Like, someone should have told me this. Yeah, is yeah. there something like that where you're like, hey? Yeah, yeah there, there is. You know, I think I need, I need to tell my artists out there, like, because I know from God's reality, when we say, I'm going to run. Even that's what I believed. I was like, ah, you know, if I believe in this guy, this guy's going to help me. I realized, like, in this game is one man for himself, mm -hmm. especially in Zim, like which uh, pinned is one man for himself. I don't know say that, but when you try to get in his money, they didn't like it. because <laughs> there was a time in a number approach where like was one of the biggest producers I cannot mention. Yes, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I had produced one song for Nico D and Victor D, then this song was popping on Power FM. Then Papa Tango Kuta wanna who am I to hold on the chaga from this big studio? Like ah nyasha. But I, I used to go then she not zizza, you see. Mm -hmm. So now I'm facing one on the tea nyasha 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 nyasha. Face of Bangon shit and get to know Jin Winley Saturday. It's like ah I'm cool, I'm cool. Man she does like a gig of an in some booth like in this in my studio booth enclosed, like yeah, yeah. no one would hear whatever we're discussing in there. And I was like, yo, Saga you funny who don't do a one we do have an but coming from him, yeah. that was shocking. Because Muno and I to idolize and she said, I'm Gigi, everything. I would yeah, go yeah. through those guys. But then they told me that when I had to fire you, you know. Then the I got first the project I wanted to do with these artists, I didn't do it mm -hmm. for the relations. 
because na ifa na ura mandri mu na rum good books since I was on the come up. Because I didn't want them to also on the fire all my doors in it. Yeah. So now that we cancel them, I just saying, oh, I'm a one of my nature. Just in the year, just quite nice. I would say because of my certain reasons, I had lied. But the true reason was like they told me not to. Mm -hmm. So like if you're coming here, you don't. So I don't want to You know what I mean? So God, I don't believe I. Which from God, I don't know. But it was also disappointing. You know, mm -hmm. this is difficult. It's because you had this expectation, like, um, mm -hmm. so you don't have to go out there, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. until you get to a position in which now these guys want you help. Yeah. You know, like nowadays, those people don't worry, ah, please, can you do this for us? You yeah. see, like, yeah, it's okay. But which time of way in the of our way in the expect us on our Bazaar because the world is cold out there. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one of those. That's what's the biggest challenge because mm. I had the wrong perception about this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned Power FM. Mm. Is there a time where you played your you heard yourself playing yeah. on the radio? Yeah. And was. you just be like. There was, there was. Actually, I wasn't the first one who heard my, yeah. my you know, like my song. One of my, and I go, 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 my own day, girl. Then she was like, Kunya, so, no, 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 which is I had myself playing until it was now normal. Mm -hmm. You know, this this is it's no longer a big deal. So I just play for you, but by the time and then get excited, so we didn't record. You know, like I would record myself playing on radio and the DJ talking about me. Oh. You know, yeah, because <laughs> every I just trust me, I look cool again. Those are no wishes. Yeah, it's one of the best, greatest feelings you know ever. And then walking around when I did. Oh, I you know, you. Hey, your song was number one, your song was Chi Chi, oh my God, Chi 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 Chi. That's, that's really nice. It yeah. gives power and the motivation and like to keep on doing things we love to do. Okay. And yeah. is there ever, was there ever a song where you released the song or like an album mm -hmm. thinking Kuti, this song is just going to pop? Mm -hmm. And then another one just kind of overtakes it and you're like, ah, oh, oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, it happened. Which song? It happened, it happened, it happened. I actually, a couple of songs. Mm -hmm. Then, they sort of booties. Then I was like, ah, you know, let me just sit on them. Mm -hmm. And then booties are actually, they couldn't be played. Then there was this other song, and I got it in Zaramba back then. That song, I didn't even want to release it. Because I'm with Kanazar, I was just listening. And then I got a moment, I got a little bit of 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 a little bit then I was, you know, did you move me to the song? I'm going to be a guy. You go on so. It's somebody finished. Then one of the brothers came through. Whose song is this? And it's my song. What? Your song? Yeah, you sing. Please finish it. And I paid this. You know. Then I came with the next day. Another brother came through as well. Like what? This song. The best song in the world. And I was actually telling him that it's not yet finished. As I let him go listen to it. Tomorrow morning, as I was going to work, and that's why the song is now playing with Star FM. Like, <laughs> yo, you, one brother actually calls me, like, your song is on, read it or hate it. Oh, what? You know? <laughs> so, so I got to don't depend on me different. You know, I got to song was number one, Fungizira, but you can just make its own way. Yeah. That is the net of Fungizira, that I got to get a song, Kazira, as in a lot of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure that's quite disappointing in a way. <laughs> so, how do you handle that? It is, but we know some of us out art differs. You know, people choose what they want to listen to. So when we get to the point, we know some of us out here. My chances of getting one of them is such far away. They are. You know what I mean? We know some of us go pick up one or they. So I'm going to find with my playlist in my phone. There's my certain songs I don't go. So same applies in the moon always. You know, so I find us so disappointed because I know some of them are dark. It's only that we the audience is going to be kind of nice, but we don't want to be kind of nice. Yeah, true. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I, as far as I'm going to be an artist, or not, but I'm going to get some good One thing for the game, game, I'm doing no catch. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. But some of the songs, like a period of one, that song, your song sucks. You know, like uh, your song. Some of the intro, intro, just so. One of our, no, next. It happens. So I'm going to go see how to art. 
Mm -hmm. Can I can try again? Yeah. You know. And has is social media being like a good way or a bad way of spreading music? Because usually Kudara antitize to kwa kwa CD and Munu Waizi ya kutu kupisa static ni kutengwa kwa CD zako. Yes, yes. But with social media now your song can just yeah, you know, yeah, and all. Has it been a good influence towards I think, the music industry? Yeah, I think social media has been good. But I don't know if it caused piracy and all that. But it's just that I don't know about social media. You know, because it's just true. Mm -hmm. But in social media, I don't know if it's true. Internet was there. So, it's just that I don't know about it. You know what I mean? Like, how can we now make money? With this social media, so when I got angry, I thought, "I could do more things like this." But so I thought, "Social media, I can follow my doors, I can wand." Because now, time in my CD, trust me, to make a CD, so it cost about maybe five to ten dollars. One CD. There's a time you go to case, or if I don't take a case, or if I don't take a CD, I just just just, which I don't know print is a CD, I just pump sore, or I get some cover. So it was a lot. Offices in your budget, you do really get dark one, and so now, so that's because your social media now everyone can easily share. Because I got all these Oziana, so Jalavu, everyone, what you see is we knew them through social media. So, social media has been great, you know, as far as I can see it. To find a way to adapt, it was how do we make money because social media has already been there, you yeah. know, in Europe, everywhere. But Kuno go on, I don't go on, so you know, we were just in denial, but. Social media has been good. Yeah. Like right now we can be live, like we are right now mm. in performing and performing to a crowd here is 7,000. You see? So now people have actually discovered a way which is, that crowd can pay you. I also want to know in the gig, but those 7,000 can pay to view you. So it, that's good. It's a plus. Yeah, it's a you plus. know, we're now living in a now world, so we just have to catch up. Yeah, we do. Mm. I'm talking about monetizing. Exactly. Monetizing. Yes, yes, People yes, need yes, to secure yes. the bag. Yeah. So is it a, a thing where music is the only road that you're, you're in, the only path that you're taking that's bringing in money, or you have other things that you do as well, apart from music? Yeah, well, for, for a couple of years, music was the only thing that brought in money. Mm -hmm. But I uh, also advise one of my brothers, like, yo, bro, this, this thing is not forever. Yeah. You know, so when you, when you make a paycheck, try invest in something. So right now, I'm, I'm in the meat business. Mm -hmm. I own a couple of butcheries around, you know, like. That's amazing. Yeah. So I actually want to grow nationwide, you know, and so it was so it was Jimmy. You know what I mean? So I try not to try to cure that thing when I'm not sure. I could think of diversifier since I treat. No, no, that's good because usually people are just stuck on no. Is it just on rock and roll? This is my God-given talent, and they never really think about growing. Exactly. And would you find yourself in like becoming a businessman? Businessman want to pick up a suit suit apart from music. Ah, no, <coughs> no, I don't like suits. <laughs> no, I always feel like those suits are not, are not, are not built for me. But like, like these, these guys we see making money, and some, some of them don't even wear suits, so a yeah. suit is not a thing. Uh -huh. like, so people are in the wrong in Kaka suit. Hey, suit. Oh, you look serious? Okay. I've been to weddings like dressed like this. People are like, yo, bro, you're supposed to wear a suit. And yeah, I understand. I'm supposed to wear a suit, but man, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the name of the way I'm going because I'm to express. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I can be a businessman like this. Yes, mm -hmm. I believe. I would oh, want like to this. be. Yeah, Person a suit. Exactly. <laughs> you know. And so I think another dynamic, given your many titles, your humorous titles, can you tell us more about the artist-producer relationship? What is your view on this <laughs> this, <laughs> this yeah, relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a joint situation yeah, on this exactly. one. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Like, can <laughs> relationship can be toxic? Can we can we can we go without this in this end? Can we flourish? Yeah, no. But from the part you got, my 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 artist, the guitar is an artist. And I think producer. I'm not talking about some producer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, some producer. My artist, the Adam Nanon Squeezes. Because in the Sunday, no one would see 
no ordinary person and because we end like their attitude can be this even matawiri but when i'm not going to tell us 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 to to get their work done you know what i mean so paul better than the team at us and go we run over to you know what to know me by the name is so much to decide to disapproach I told her, I'm sending my team a little bit. That guy, you know, because yeah. this is the situation in the way that I'm an artist. I don't know how to, ah, tar, so I'm going to go to Mira, I'm going to go to Mira, I'm going to go to Mira, you know. So I know that person, I don't know how to know about different things about me out there. Yeah, but you didn't have the love for this artist. I'm like, yo, dude, we need to work. Then for us, those are artists, which are showing an approach, which are the artists, which are the artists, which are the artists, which are the you actually paid everything. Because you didn't have actually done that. But bad are bad artists are good. And then producer, no, no, because they are to prioritize. So we are artists. We are from very different kind. So but that's why we don't need to need to know. Because we are not to obey to talk the producer. You know, in my situation, I got a lot. I have blood. I have choose sport. We can go choose sport. I've worked with choose sport in India. Like I do some productions for them. I know they are good guys. So we don't need to jump into that. We just ah, my face is high. I just. But when I'm going to misunderstanding, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell information is real. So as I told you, so as I told you, it's a reputation of artists, even career. You know, when I'm going to do some simbis as well, but if I can't affect any way. So that relationship, I got to co-share, I'm saying. You know, we have, for example, we have one of them, Magdine and Trevor D. I work with them, but very two, you know, you can tell we have a funny relationship. Kari po kari beyond music, you know. Vanika understanding how I na ko, you know what I mean. So tini ma tisa ga wanda ga daro, like ma combinations ano zeluti tamuka X Q, na tu o tamuka something nice comes out, you know what I mean. So katu ngo daro. So I think that one ino da upota chi endlo. Epan fa na ngi ta big a person between the two. Out there, mo ganda pani sa dogi chiga. Iwe wa chi chumeta the big a person. Iwe wa. You know what I mean? Just be the big person. Then, hope I'm not going to go so far because I'm not going to go out of hand. So I was just going to ask you to come and talk. You know, so I think yeah, that's so important relationship. You know, for now we can get into it. Yeah. Also, I think another little aspect that I think some artists aren't even aware of that I think it could actually help them. Can you please give us a little bit more information on royalties and how they benefit an artist? Yeah, uh, royalties are good. I think um, you need to get registered out there because you know, I remember I got married and I paid my lobola with my royalties. Oof. Like my family. Flex. Chair. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, Mr. <laughs> certified lover boy out there. <laughs> you know? So uh -huh. they are good. It was actually my mom was like, you know, you're just singing, but you don't know register. My mom gave me the, I think it was 50 bucks back then. Mm. She gave me her 50 bucks like to go and register. Then I got the money and I did what I did. But recently, uh, things haven't been nice. You know? <laughs> I'm not in good book. I'm not happy. You know, I've never said it to them, but I'm just not <laughs> happy about how they treated me. You know, recently, yeah. you know, yeah. I've got my 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 two years of work. You mm. couldn't, you know, like handle a taxi, like a cab, even mm. fuel. And then as I went on, told that check. I, I was heartbroken. <laughs> like really, actually, like the whole of last year, I couldn't release anything because mm. I was like. What's w there's no point, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? There's no point. So if I don't make a sense, so if they are watching, and uh, I believe this is supposed to make sense because I believed in them, and but all I can do is and say is guys in them no register, quit talk to them better because you know my benefits, yeah, you know, true. like the funeral covers and for a budo manga ma diri or not tanga in you know the registered ones. So it's a good thing, but it's only with the economy I do on the regular days and such like it's at that, you know. Yeah. Let's go register, fam. Where uh, should people go and register? Because you know, Zimura. Yeah. You can go to Zimura. I think mm -hmm. it's in Belgravia down there. You know, Google Zimura. You find the directions and go there. It's easy. Yes. Uh, thank you for that information. You're welcome. One more aspect, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, because also we, we, we the, the issue of what's in the pot now. Oh yes, for him, to, yeah. Because we want to try and uh, promote. Yeah. Okay, we go in. All right. So, can you tell us, apart from the music that you have, is there anything else that you're working on? 
yeah, this year is going to be, um, I have a good feeling about this year. Everyone does, right? It's like I it's do, in the I air. Do, I do, <laughs> you know. Like recently I've had one of my brothers, some of my brothers come to me like, yo, you've got good music, we mm -hmm. know. We need to give it to people. Yeah. So I have collaborations. Um, I have a Trevor D collab or I have a Andy Murizo collab oh, or amazing. I have okay. an XQ collab or Mr. Pretty. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a Pop Ten collab or oh, wow. I have a couple of collaborations okay. in even Zambia. I'm going to Zambia to shoot a video, I think, yeah. in next month or so if it goes well. So um, I'm planning on like, you know, travel and produce bigger, yes. you know, like projects because I'm working with Roberto Zambia as well, like wow. production okay. wise, you know what I mean? Because I think, yeah, th this is what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? So it's going to be a great year. A lot of music is going to come to you guys. Oof, we can't wait. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And how do you think Kuti, the industry can be bettered through my media houses? Like media houses, we've got, we've got Slime Media, mm -hmm. we've got mm -hmm. Anana Herald, we've got big... What do you think needs to be done by media houses so as to better the music industry? Yeah, I think we need to create... The relationship needs to be... To find out how to relationship. Because mm -hmm. music is in the media house. Yeah. You know, so I not some way. You know what I mean? So, relationship is in the You can go to so much about studio. It can up platform me, you have a platform, you have another platform. It becomes easier, you know, for the artists as well. With the, since the end, you know what I mean? So I think relationship in there don't go in peace. With the my media houses, I tumble on my artists, or my artists, I saw each other in my media houses. But it's funny that we can go check out our shiki girl, you know what I mean? Because in any, there's, I, I've, I've, been, I've been watching Slime Media for a while. Pampacho being in the same events, but I don't go check out, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, you know what I mean? So the relationship is not normal. So you know, you know, the doors are open. You know, the idea is that you want to do this. Chi, 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 chi. So you can see the relationship with the music industry in Indonesia is easier. Uh, so do, do you think it's just mainly Kushka? Is that the only challenge that's there between the relationship? Yeah, misinformation. Mm -hmm. Let me say it that way. I think maybe one more actually as well, but because it was zero, it was really possible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's not until you know, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think the platform is office I pack I pack it. We don't have any But when I'm going to feel like we someone I can borrow, we can pay any connection. Like we need number often or pay But you don't need to believe that we don't need to know say you. Yeah. Connection. Yeah. Sometimes I read it also, you know, because mm -hmm. in from experience, now it's chicken dig, pass you. So I don't know if it's possible. So I think it's also just for now going to be able to do it. I hope okay. our viewers and young upcoming artists are listening yes. because at the Tiki Seguets, our exactly. inbox is always open. You guys yes, can just yes. come and drop in. What are us in Runa? <laughs> and the platform is yours. I think just to round up, That's good. what are your words, your last words to these young upcoming artists, even female mm -hmm. young up upcoming artists? Yes, yes. What what are your parting words with them? Um, let me just say, you know, music is a journey, and uh, in whatever you're doing, believe in yourself. Don't listen otherwise, because a lot of people are going to come through and tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm. Just believe, yo, you know, it's supposed to be where you're heading. So no matter what happens, you get there. You know, in patience, pays. Remember that. Yeah. I think, yeah. Thank you. Wife, Thank you, Mr. Boy. <laughs> one of the men that still believe in love. <laughs> I yeah. do, I do. <laughs> yes. No, that is a good attribute to have. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching, and we hope we see you next time. My likes, Ngaramba Subscribe, follow. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>